thing. It's got two shows going on on that date, so check them out. Y'all been seeing them everywhere. It's in and out of town. Up and coming, handling this business. Give it up for Mr. Comedian Will C. Clap, dog. Y'all clap, really? Okay. Old sweater back there. Cut it off. Got an old red sweater. You ain't gonna clap back there? Yeah, okay. Got this little sweater on here. You don't wanna clap for a nigga. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? All right, now. What's up, cameraman? What's up with it, man? What up with your brother? Uh, give it up for this big ass skate ring floor we on, goddamn me. This ain't no stage. K King was looking for that shit. Is it hurt? <laughs> When I walked in here, I knew it was some R&B shit going on because there was a lot of niggas with R&B outfits on, like myself. Like, nigga, it's all Joe's clothes on that side, nigga. <laughs> Them old men's is rolling around like, look, uh, young brother, I'm trying to get up on this pussy tonight. Like, Could you excuse yourself, move? Y'all was debating whether to come over this motherfucker. You want to sit over there and listen to Bobby Blue playing all night? It's a lady at the motherfucking board just sitting there, hey, hey. The blues is off. Bitch, if you don't stop singing that and sing some grown, act your age. Shit, man. I, the holidays is coming up, and nigga, at my job, they need a motherfucking gift exchange, right? And the limit was $50. I know the lady that got my motherfucking name with the Gen X and got me this shirt made out of cheese grater. <laughs> this goddamn shirt came with some Parmesan cheese. I know the fucking deal. Like, Bitch, I bought you some Michael Cole watch and you, I get this motherfucking uh, utensil shirt. <laughs> My son was like, Daddy, that's the shirt you gonna wear? Okay, like, bitch, you finna perform in emos. What the fuck? <laughs> Fuck ass shirt, man. Damn, nigga, this shirt came with Lil Richard and Liberace, man. Like, damn, man, but well, it's nice and I'm gonna wear this motherfucker. If you see it again on Facebook, don't say shit. <laughs> Shit, when we first came, I thought I was gonna have to wear this motherfucker again. Like, nigga, I ain't gonna wear this motherfucker gift exchange shirt. Motherfucker, that's another little thing. The holidays coming up. All you is the thought to count people. Fuck that. If I get you a good gift, I thought you counted your money and knew that you were supposed to give me a good gift too. <laughs> Fuck that. Bitch, gonna give me a pack of noodles in a pot. Bitch, if you don't. What's wrong with you, man? You can't do gift exchange. Like, you can't give, do gift exchange if, if you got a bullshit ass job. Like, we gonna do a gift exchange. Everybody that work at Family Dollar, come here last night, it's me. Miss, it, it's, it's, it's gonna be Thanksgiving, man. And if you can't cook, you young ladies, if you can't cook, don't even be in the kitchen. Don't don't go ask your grandma, can you try to do something? Don't be experimenting this year. Don't experiment this year. Fuck that. This is the year if shit's supposed to be done right, the food's gonna be right. We don't need no motherfucking uh, weird ass casseroles and shit y'all making, making weird ass punches and shit. Who done bought some stolen shit today? Man, I've been buying stolen shit all week, man. I've been buying all stolen shit, man. I've been buying shit that I don't need. Mother came up me, nigga, I got these pregnancy tests. Like, nigga, I was like, give me all of them. Come on, man. Just all of them. Breast pump milk, breast milk pumps and shit. Just stupid shit, man. Nigga sold me some skates. I was like, nigga, I should have bought them so I could spin around in this motherfucker right here. Shit, nigga, this motherfucker stay slick than a motherfucker, man. This is goddamn North Oaks Bowling, and I know it, nigga. <laughs> This is some Dollar Tree shit if I don't seen it ever in my life, man. I know Dollar Tree shit, man. Straight up, ladies. When you're inviting people over your house for the holidays, Thanksgiving, make sure that the roaches know where the roach is supposed to be. It's a three it's a three roach limit. When I go to somebody's house, I give you three roaches. After that third roach, I got to go. I got to keep fuck around. I'm trying to enjoy this cranberry sauce and this motherfucker roach swimming around in that shit, man. Kids crazy than the motherfucker, man. I don't, I'm gonna say y'all this, the public school system ain't shit, amen? Amen? They gonna tell my son to bring some important shit from his home for the show and tell. Y'all remember show and tell? Show and tell back in the back in the day was some cool shit if you had some cool shit to bring. I used to bring my granddaddy teeth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I did, I did. But now this new 2014 show and tell, they gonna tell my son to bring an important document from his home. Something that's real important in his household. Do you know this little nigga decided to bring a disconnection notice? I was like, motherfucker, 
So now they didn't send my son home looking like the fucking Jaquita lady. This nigga come home with a fruit basket on his head, with condoms, tampons, razors, heated blanket, dishwashing liquid, all kind of shit. I go up to the school, like, what the fuck? I tell jokes, we, uh, we all right over here. like, uh-huh, because he was shivering in class. Like, what the fuck? It's September, this nigga shivering and shit like I shit off, man. Mm -mm. I need y'all to take one laugh and pass the rest down. I don't know what the fuck, uh... <laughs> I know we in this little drug treatment meeting. Uh, this is a drug treatment program. I just, niggas come to lay this shit. Drug <laughs> Straight up, motherfucker. Like, I don't need to do crack. It just crack just gets on me. <laughs> Straight up. It just hop on me. It's a crack spirit. Straight up, man. This is nigga Little Rock uh, saying, look, the show's gonna start at 6. Uh, nigga, I've been here since 3 o'clock, nigga. It's a late show happening, motherfucker. All that riot and shit, I'm not against it. I'm not against it, man. We mad, we is fucking upset. But I'm gonna tell y'all like this. The only reason all that shit even took place the first time, cause they didn't send us nobody that gave us the message clearly. They were sending us Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton came with that fucking lace front and uh, <laughs> that nigga got some crucial conflict braids up under that heart. I know he do. That nigga's constantly, constantly, constantly sewing in weeds, nigga. Hey, in the middle of the salon, nigga. What the fuck? Where did you get that hair from, man? They sent to Jesse Jackson. They talked to Jesse Jackson like he was a light skinned bitch at the club. Get the fuck ass up out of here, Jesse. Like, damn, did y'all see that in the video? That man's like, nigga, we don't want you here, Jesse. What the fuck you doing here? Jesse was in the church van, like, nigga, go. <laughs> Straight up. But, like, all that shit could have been avoided if they sent us one positive, strong black male when none of that ride and the shit. What it went on, man? Cause you gotta think they was in Canfield. Canfield is a small ass municipality. Now that's a what a housing project, a motherfucker, something to get a, a, a limited establishment. God damn it, where people be at? Like I said, man, they, 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 all that shit could've been avoided, man. And they sent us one strong black positive male, man, with none of that shit. Man, if you don't come here with that uh, Freeman Bosley hat on, then. Midnight basketball establishing ass nigga. We peeking in and shit, nigga. <laughs> that government assistance program hat, nigga. Peeked in and let us see that motherfucker Miles Davis hat, nigga. Damn, man. Now, strong black motherfucking politician. We wouldn't have had none of that riding and shit going on. All that, oh, man. Kiss my ass. Jig, if you don't sit down with that Charles and Charles shirt on, nigga. <laughs> Damn, man. Oh, man, it's another motherfucker, man. Stop coming in. She done brought a plate from home and came to this motherfucker. I ain't got no gizzards up there. Uh-uh, fuck that. I'm gonna run back to the house. Straight up, man. Nah, all they had to do was send us. Motherfucker, first of all, Joe Clark from Lean On Me. That's all they had to do, nigga. It would have been no riot, nigga. And see, it, 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 the suspense ain't even the fucking same, man. This nigga got an Xavier hoodie on. He don't even never been to New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga think he got an X-Man hoodie on. <laughs> it's a college in New Orleans. I got a cousin named Xavier. He gave it to me because he wanted me to have it. <laughs> man, this shit is crazy the motherfucker. I don't trust my son no more. That nigga be lying. This nigga tell me he, um, he at the schoolyard killing him. I'm like, you killing him? Okay, well, what is all this killing you doing? You know what I'm saying? He's like, daddy, I'm the coldest nigga on the playground. I decided to sneak up on him one day. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, man, it killed me. It killed me. It really did. I, he was on the motherfucking playground, right? He just telling, like, he had been telling me for so many days, like, man, daddy, I'm the man. Woo, I wham. This, all that shit. I was like, okay. So I sneak up on him. Now they outside, I position myself where he couldn't see me, right? So I see a lot of little girls around him, right? And I'm like, okay, all right, like father, like son. The women flock to you, that's what's up. And all I heard was, go Aaron, go Aaron, go Aaron. I get closer. Do you know this nigga on that motherfucker double dutching the shit and jumping the shit? I'm like, nigga, the fuck? I thought you was killing them, nigga. Like, you was like, this nigga complaining about they turning wide. I'm like, oh, man. You're not the champion. You're not the champion. 
you know you're an old head establishment because all old heads, all they want to hear is like, you, this is how you know when you're at an old head establishment. Like, when you know you at the fox trap or some shit like that, some shit that's been closed. <laughs> this is something new. The cast side part two. We're going to get funky and funky. That's all the old motherfuckers want to hear. Them motherfuckers will push you out the way for that, nigga. And they get this switching it up and shit, Mariah Carey and all this shit. They make one more goddamn slide. That's all old people know how to do is fucking slide and complain. <laughs> like my homeboy, this nigga called me at 2.30 in the morning crying like a motherfucker, man. Then called me like, cuz I'm everything I love. I swear to God, bro, I don't know how to tell you this, bro, but like, man, nigga, they close rice and flea market, bro. <laughs> Like, bitch ass nigga, I'll kill you. He's like, man, what we gonna do now? I don't know what we gonna do, but you gonna find another little corner store to get them shoes from, nigga. I uh I don't have no DVDs or no t-shirts or none of that shit for sale, but I do steal from that Walmart out there on Hanley. Nigga, uh I got a lot of shit that they didn't get from that family dollar. Uh, I'm not bullshitting, I do, like for real. If you niggas wanna get y'all ladies some uh, bath and body shit, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna get you some. Uh, I got this El Camino right out here, and they got a tarp over it. And all the shit is up on the bottom. I got some fireworks too. If I'm just trying to say that I'm trying to make your holiday happy. <laughs> Straight up, man. That's what I'm trying to do, man. Um, good night. God bless and enjoy the rest of the show, y'all. Happy holidays. Oh.